I met her in Philly and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we be making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful. Hey guys, I just made it into Dubai. I'm about to go get. <laughs> I'm out with my baggage and stuff. It is 11.30 p.m. Whew. I really did a whole day of traveling. It took me, it was six hours from Atlanta to Paris, and then I had like a three over layover in Paris, and then six hours from Paris to Dubai. I am tired. It's like a whole jet lag. I hope I don't get jet lag because I got things to do. I got mad things I want to do. It's a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love me. Morning. It is Wednesday and it's 9 20 a.m. I'm in my hostel. So if you guys don't know, I'm giving you a little like what a hostel is. Um, I got in really, really late last night, but in the morning I got off my flight at 11, 20 p.m. And I didn't finish like leaving out the airport until like two o'clock really. Instead of spending a whole additional hundred and something dollars to pre um, book earlier to stay in my hotel, I just found me a hostel because it saved me money and a lot of people recommended this hostel for solo travelers especially women i paid only 39 dollars for the night so i thought that was really really reasonable um it gave like it's a homey vibe it's really really cool this is their view i just told y'all inside but this is the view lounge chairs So I'm up. I'm about to do my makeup right here on the balcony. <laughs> I'm about to do my makeup right here and just get ready to start my day. I am totally excited and I just want to, you know, get everything I wanted done accomplished today. The girl also, um, I showed y'all the beds. It's six beds in a room, but it wasn't six people in there. It was only me and another girl in there. Um, and the guy just told me that she was planning to go to the Marigold Garden so when she wakes up I'm gonna see if she wants to go together but other than that I'm about to just do my makeup and yeah natural lighting is the best lighting let's get ready for the day pull up score when I want to best thing that's to have yeah. they be trying to count me out though yeah. I'm just kind of counting blessings a real woman by the past your girl is ready to hit the town I just want to come and give y'all a quick outfit check night. He, so this is actually like very long, and I had to find like a tum tack to like pin it so it won't be too much cleavage showing. But let me show y'all how I am dressed. My top is Fashion Nova. My jeans are from. Zara. My bags is also from Zara. And then I got these cute, cute shoes. Steve Madden. They told me I have to walk up a block to catch the taxi, and the yellow taxi is much cheaper. So that's what I'm about to do. So let's go. Let's hit the town. Let's see what Dubai got in store for us. This is day one of Mocha the Explorer. good in here smell like rich <laughs> I am looking for the restaurant right now it's so like clean 
Of course, it's clean, but I'm just saying. It's like so nice. Alright guys, we found this restaurant. They shisha? Fire. So you plan outfits? <laughs> oh, my son. It's so pretty. This is the Dubai Miracle Garden. It's just so much flowers. I'm really living my best life. Like, I love vacations. I just like going places and seeing different things. I'd rather get dressed up in another country. So pretty. I got more things. This park, like, is so huge. Like, it's so, so big. And I think I'm gonna get corn before I leave. But, like, let's find some. I need, and I need a good picture spot, too. I need to find a good picture place. So, let me go. I Yeah, just this way. Okay. Pretty. What's your name? Ella? Oh, you're so pretty! <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, pretty girl. Pretty girl wants to take a picture with me. She is so pretty. She's so cute. <laughs> It glows up at nighttime. Everything is glowing, guys. Come to Dubai, Zephy. Visit the American the Miracle Garden. It's just so beautiful. And it's so Instagrammable. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Be careful, sir. Ki karega? To main bhege chalana pe main bagar bhege nahi chalana pe. Aao. To main bhege chala rahe hain na. To ja ja. Oh ja yaar na ja kis mein main na baitha ja. Be careful, sir. Be careful. <laughs> Every time the crazy people in the bike. They need to watch where they're going, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's dress right now. I have to meet the girls in the lobby. These shoes, I hope it don't be painful on my foot tonight. God, please. What? Beauty is pain. Right? That's what they say. Let's take a shot together. It's shot o'clock. Yo, I really be having mad fun by myself. <laughs> it's shot a fucking clock. Let's go. That one's for me. And this one is for you. Say hey! 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 Hey
Okay, so we're vlogging for the night. We just met a new friend from Atlanta. Check, guys, we met a new friend from Atlanta. From Atlanta. So, and I met a new friend from the UK. <laughs> section I kind of been on my bed already <laughs> this is such a bad room tour um, bathroom yup 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 so that's my room tour hey guys good morning I'm on my way to my excursion right now um, I'm about to take a nap it is 7 11 in the morning <sighs> I'm on my way to the desert, but I'm not doing the safari. I'm doing the flying dress. Um, I didn't get to do this when I was in Greece, and they have it in Dubai, so I'm just like, why not? So I might just take the opportunity. That's the only really excursion I'm going to do out here, and everything else is just like locals and things. But, oh, girl, what that Patron I drank last night? Next time, I'm really gonna bring one of my boobs with me. Damn, did I say that like that? <laughs> I'm really gonna, it's, it's the one of my boobs with me. A lot of people wonder, like, why do I travel by myself? Like, even guys, they be like, why you didn't invite me? Me, when I travel by myself, it be like so last minute. It don't even be like some plan shit. Like, me booking this, I just went online and it was dirt cheap, so I just booked it. And when I asked my boy to take me to the airport, he was like, yo, why you didn't invite me? But I was like, you know, I don't, you know, like, you don't want to, people, when it comes to trips, people be wanting you to tell them in advance. And I don't, I don't be telling people shit in advance, like, because it don't be advanced planning or advanced booking. It just be right there on the spot type shit. Like, I will book something and leave next week. You feel me? So, but... I like to travel solo. Um, I feel like you can't, when you tend to wait for people, you don't go nowhere, you know? And I think me traveling solo also come with me being the only child, like I grew up. Majority of doing a lot of things by myself. Yes, I have friends and stuff, but I'm used to being by myself. Like I'm like a loner in a way. So me going somewhere by myself, like, I don't know, it's just the norm. And I think it's different because people are like, yo, you're going out the country. But, you know, you just have to do your research. Make sure where you're going is safe. Um, make sure you have an itinerary to follow. Um, make sure you stay in a safe, split, pace, safe space. And, like, ask questions and talk to people, you know. If you don't know something, ask. That's one thing I would say. And just be cautious. Like, when you're out in another country just be cautious anybody could solo travel you just have to be really alert on your toes keep in um, contact with your family your friends and stuff like that um, that's really about it let people know you reach safely let people know where you're going and things of that sort but um, I would definitely recommend you guys to take a solo trip if you never did just take one and you don't have to go somewhere like extreme like dubai or you know <laughs> somewhere antique or something crazy like take a it could be like in the states like go to houston or go to cancun or you know go to jamaica like do something local not local but something that's like the norm to feel like how would you feel you know get vacation by yourself a lot of people can't go on vacation by myself because they don't want to be by yourself you know i think that's the main thing like you don't want to be by yourself but i promise you we're gonna have a good time but i'm done talking to you guys enough of the speech i got my pretty dress on we're going by buggy thank you hello okay 
it is a belt. Just put this like inside. Yeah, just put this in. Yeah, I'm putting this down here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta take my photo shoot. Got my driver ready. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Are the pictures coming out good? Yeah. Good. <laughs> the world I'm kissing, what I miss, won't you listen? Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off your love, I don't know how to be. <laughs> It was so much sand. Huh? Yeah, I want some drink. Say hi. I'm from New York. You drink like coconut? I do like coconut. Is it fresh? Fresh. Fresh? Yeah. Like? Yeah. What other drinks do you have? I think I'll do a coconut though. Coconut I have also cool freezer. Mmm. I'll do a coconut. How much the coconut? Do you coconut? Yeah. You, you need cool, natural cool or in freezer cool? Um, cold is better, right? Now weather also cool. Outside, normal cool. It's too much cool. This is too cold? Yeah. I think it's not good for your stomach. Which one? If it's cold. So? Oh, so the one outside is better? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do outside. Can you check the... Go take a whole shower again because your girl got seen all on her. I'm gonna have to go start my day. I'm excited to see my pictures, they look so bomb. Yeah, all right, we're going back to my telly and get ready to go out. Yeah, I already know what the deal is. See y'all later, guys. I have to take three shots. One for me, one for him, and one for you guys. <laughs> That's a lot of motherfucking shots. I mean, you smell liquor before you drink it. <laughs> I'm being a pussy. Bro, your wife is pissing me off. Cause you want to see me take the shot? Yeah. Um, I'm taking one right now. This one is for me. <laughs> All right, guys, hold on. <laughs> I don't know. Shot of clock, man. I'm taking a shot for you now. Okay, take a pill. Pick up. I told my blog I'm taking a shot for you. Ready? Yeah, make sure. Make sure it's a mouthful. A mouth? Want me like this? <laughs> ah! Okay. Yo, I need to finish this whole bottle by Sunday. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Because I'm taking these little ass gulps. But. We going to try. Girls, drink that shit. One, two, three. Yo, I love being on vacation. Like, it just brings out that inner bad bitch in me. I don't know. I just like being in warm places with good weather. <sighs> I wish I could live on a vacation.
You know I may look into getting paid to travel. You know that's a job. No, I'm serious. I know that. I ain't stupid, child. You sure? I be knowing. Nah, you're not stupid. I like that. You got you. You're smart. I be knowing. You're very intellectual. And you know what you be talking about. You won't be talking just to be talking. That's a, that's a, that's a big compliment coming. Huh? That's a big compliment coming. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This one is for you guys, and then I'm gonna go take some fire ass flicks. I'm gonna show you how I look. Um, my swimsuit is from Matt Swim. Hold on, I'm talking to my vlog. One thing they need to work on is their sizing because, baby, my titties is not fitting in this small what the models be wearing. Like, they need to work on a size. But other than that, it's mad cute. You feel me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now I gotta show y'all my nice little swimsuit. Let me take a shot for you guys. Cheers! <laughs> guys, I think I like him. I ain't gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk too soon because you know when you get that little butterfly feeling, it's always something. But I like him. Just know I like him. <laughs> Out of all my booze, he's winning right now. He's doing it. I'll talk to y'all later. On my way to my Uber. Let's hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Yeah? Say it again. You came from New York. Yes. Guys, I got the same driver from yesterday who picked me up at Dubai Mall. Look at that's crazy, right? Look at Cohen said Nikki. <laughs> I came in the car, I'm like, you look like the same person. Yeah. You, you remember me. my money is finished. So you already Huh? You tell me my money money is finished. Uh-huh. Yesterday. So <laughs> yes, it's the same person. That's crazy. I you do Uber, so you private and do you do Uber? Yeah, either you like. Oh. That's how so you drop the customer, so mm -hmm. if you don't find a customer without booking, so I start the Uber. Do Uber? Okay. Makes sense. Makes so sense. Easy and stack Uber, then work. Right. What's your name? Kabir. Kabir? Kabir. Kabir? Yeah, K-A-B-I-R. Kabir. Yeah. Okay. You were Chal? Chalice. You was close. Chalice. I'm mad. Madness in Dubai. You guys have to visit here. And they do like a cute, nice little light show and everything. They bring your food out. That is available. Today, I'm just visiting Instagramable places. That's what it's looking like. So, right now, I'm on my way to Saya Walls 51. And I found that place on TikTok. It's so pretty. It looked 2D. Like, the re um, it's like a dessert place. And it's like in a 2D print. It looks so, so pretty. This is so fun. So, on to the next location. <laughs> Guys, it is so Instagrammable. Oh my gosh, look. Let's go inside. I like to do shit like this. And I'm the only one in these places. I'm about to like really take some happy content. Hi. Yo, where's everything? 
<laughs> I told Zoe not to post pistachio in my shit. Excuse me. I have a nut allergy. I'm about to die. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I need to put a drink. Yo, it's a bad pull up. Excuse me, like, is it? What's the action? I'm about to check out. I have to go to my other hotel and then I'm about to go to this um, Aura Sky Bar that I saw that looks very, very pretty. Um, Yesterday was a cool day. I did mad Instagram bullshit yesterday. So today is more of the beach vibes, pool, blue waters. We got to see what that is in Dubai. Um, I have about two hours to get there. So I have to get there. They came for my bags. Hello. Uh, how are you? I'm well. Good. How are you saying? Good? It was good. Good. All yeah. your stuff? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, I'll see you down here. Huh? I'll see you down. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yes, I'm about to check out. I'm going to see some pretty pictures real quick. Um, I'm giving my outfit beats. My bag. I believe I got this from... Pretty little thing like a while ago. My outfit is from Shot Renee and I I got this like in the summertime. Um, I'm gonna wear some Dior slides and that's really about it. If y'all want the hair deets, flow with by Mocha. C unit. So I want to be like very neutral. And then I will put a swimsuit because I don't know if I'm gonna go in the water exactly, but y'all gonna see that put it on. I got this cute swimsuit one piece from Matt Swim. Hopefully this one fixes my titties. It goes like this, super cute. So I'm just gonna throw it in my bag just in case. You know, <gasps> you know the vibes. Also, when you're traveling by yourself. It's always good to make an itinerary so you know what to do. Even if you um, don't get to every place, it's best to write down um, places that you want to go within that day. So it will be easy for you to transport and get where you're going. You know, if you have a day planned out, it is easy for you to just travel. Versus when you come here, you're trying to find things to do. So I would definitely say do research and find the things that you want to do. It is so nice up here. The water feels so good, so I'm gonna get inside. <laughs> the water is so warm. You know how you go with water and it's like cold? This water feels so good. I think we go to the beach club next. Actually, I need to find some food. So. I made it, y'all. Hello. Do I just go in? Do I just go in? I had calls earlier. No. Do I just? I just want to eat. Do I just go in? I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Come on. 
I did move from that restaurant because they was taking too long. Like, they sat me down and had me waiting for that long. So I'm at another part of the beach club and they may have stuff that Oh, I have to scan the QR code. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna think. Thank you. Yeah. That's a fab fad. I'd rather be by the pool side than by be by a pool side. Ooh, they actually have things that I can I know on this menu. That's what I like. In Dubai, they love some beef. They love beef. It's the Hawaiian bowl option. Check it, pizza. Check it. You'll take a nice picture for me. That's what you said, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And okay. I will bring the cocktail for you. You will get a nice picture with the cocktail. I will keep the picture for you. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Somebody's here? No, that's me. They love taking pictures of you out here. That's one thing. You come to Dubai, ask them. Like, how people ask them, like, how do you get your pictures? They take the pictures for me. They want you, they want you to come back. They want you to come. So they want to take the pictures for you. Yeah, my drinking is so good. I just, these girls just took my pictures. <laughs> One of them is an influencer. I think she's from London too. Like I said, it's not even London out here. But they invited me to come get a drink with them. So I'm about to get a drink with them at the bar. Good day, it was a good day. My camera charger, I'm actually talking to this dude um, I just met. Damn, that's not a dad. He's from Virginia, and he heard my um, the way I was talking, so he knew I was from like the town or whatever. But he invited me out, so we about to go club hopping. He about to come pick me up. I'm just like really adventurous. Like I've been adventurous. <laughs> Yo, I'm always adventurous. Like I'm just saying nothing. No, but hopefully he a good vibe because he just told me he's about to go club hopping, like bar hopping. So. I might as well like dress comfortable. I got some jeans on with a white tee and I got on my kicks. I put on sneakers because I don't want to wear flats and then I can't get in certain places because that's going to be a blow. So sneakers is like my best option at this point. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wait till he called me. So I got so I got, I'm just going to see y'all outside when I'm bobbing. <laughs> Let me show you. Um, yeah, this is how your girl's looking. I'm gonna give y'all a quick outfit check. So, 
<laughs> Don't worry about the messy background. Jumpsuit is Fashion Nova. Um, I got these Q heels from Ego. And then they don't have a mirror in here. I hate tallies with no mirror. Like, where they do that at? And then I got my bodega bag. So we wearing all white today. Um, I, gotta get my, I have to go get my COVID test first. So I'm going to the hospital first. And then I'm going to brunch. So this is my nice little brunch outfit. Um, yeah, let's go. Enough talking. So I'm at the Arabian Tea House. I found this place on Instagram, of course. I'm really in like the middle of Dubai right now. My mask is all crooked. But I'm about to like take some quick pictures. Um, I'm gonna eat here, but I have to wait about 20 to 15 to 20 minutes until they get some reservations. So about to pick up. <laughs> Arabian, uh, Arabian food. Take some pictures. So make sure y'all definitely pull up. What area is this called? This area is Souq Al Kabir. It's what? Souq Al Kabir. This is a Grand Souq. Oh, wait, is the Gold Souq here? No, this is a two grand souks one is in bar dubai one is in dera so where's the gold souk gold souk opposite side it's the opposite side yeah <gasps> oh wow just take from here to boat and then go there this is a very near very close mm. between gold souk and this grand souk other uh, one part go uh, visit gold souk or not i didn't visit it yet and where's the expo? The expo is in Jabal Ali. Okay. You are going there? I want to go there. I heard it's nice. Fine. You must go there. Very big area. Which one would you prefer I go? Expo or Go Souk? Both of them is a different. Expo is a new one. Expo is a whole world is there. The whole world is there? Yeah. 192 pavilions. 192 countries pavilions is there is there okay yeah. so you said go to the expo yeah go to expo i heard um they invested about eight billion dollars in the expo is yeah, that yeah. yeah my last project is expo we pull in dubai too yeah
Like, I don't know. This is just got me mad at Y'all can see me with a post video? <laughs> Y'all can see me with a post video? Yay or nay? Yay? Me too. <laughs> it is so big and pretty in here. I love simple things. Yeah. This is goals. Guys, I made it to the World Expo. Your girl is a touring. Okay? This shit is so big. I really underestimated this. I really did. They put billions into this shit. Oh my god. So, my, always, my question is, you really gotta live here. This is like Disney. Oh my god. For countries. Right, no. Now you definitely gotta come. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You're annoying. <laughs> I'm about to get my COVID test. I couldn't go because my COVID test didn't come back in time. So, yeah, you have to get, you have to have a. COVID test to get in. So I don't have a COVID test, but I'm gonna come back tomorrow early. This shit's like an amusement park, yo. Thank you so much. Look, you screenshot your ticket, one of your followers will use the barcode. <laughs> After I went to the World Expo, we couldn't get in. Well, we kind of got in, but we went too late. So the, the countries was closed. Only like food and concerts is open, so we did. We end up leaving, so I'm gonna try that on another day. But however, we're back on another adventure today. I'm doing a tour um, at the what's this called? At the Souks. It's like flea markets. Really excited to see what it's like, and hopefully, I get some nice goodies. If y'all watched my story. I know I remember I said I was on a date kind of nervous. Well, guess what? My tour guide today is the same guy. Isn't that exciting? So I'm super excited. Where are we going? Uh, yeah, this way. So you're gonna be approached by a bunch of cats just like that. Okay. This nigga's gonna follow us. He's gonna find us. Watch while we walk. He's gonna come back again. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. We about to like explore now. Oh, look at some pictures. So he was trying to avoid us going through here. Why? Because he, he wanted us to spend our first bucks with him. He didn't want us to hit, us, hit him with the excuse of, I ain't got no more money. We walking around with bags and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you should really look into it. That's one thing I'm really good at. Like when I feel on people's talents, okay. I like to tell them what they can make money off of. Okay, I appreciate that. You're welcome. They um they really big on their spices though. Yeah. Well, the spices are just out. I said one cup short glasses, snacks, keychain, gift station. That's what you say? I take a photo of the spices. It's nice for you. Huh? Take a picture. Take a picture, take a video. And you know what is the Gigi Baba made? It's whoever get the first sale, okay? <laughs> Let's, let's, let's go with this nigga. Huh? Let's just go with this nigga. Alright, let's just see so what he got. Tell him no like three more times. Right. Once we get into his store. <laughs> he's, not, he's, not, he's not playing. Alright, we about to go see what this guy got. Because he's been hunting us down. Guys, why this chain set is worth 15 how you say it? Not AED. It's 15 what? Yeah, AED. Um, it's 15,000 AED, which is equivalent to derms. 15,000 derms, which is equivalent to four bands, 4,000. And it's all real diamonds. Y'all may have to fly to Dubai for y'all trip. <laughs> Guys, this fish, this is what you call a meal. Not a skimp meal. They give you a meal. <laughs> a meal. Thank you for bringing me here. This is fish rice. Oh, I'm excited. 
there's a lot of undisciplined drivers out here who they be all over the road and shit. Then you almost get in a lot of accidents because people switch lanes without signaling. Signal. People oh, like, they drive like that. Sounds like Atlanta. Yeah. They so everything is um all the names are basically in it and like after like em Emiratis, yeah. mostly sheikhs, yeah. Okay. Important people in the royal in the royal family. Okay. Look, guys, look, look at look at the beautiful building. Yeah, that's Raffles. Mm -hmm. They don't play with their buildings. Oh no. No, yeah, they overdo. They OD. <laughs> Everything is like so. They, this this one building took a, a whole block. Yeah. This is crazy. I learned a lot today. Oh wow, I even learned about um. Life's yeah, I even learned about the speeding, not speeding, I'm running a red light. Hell yeah. It's a dub out here. You run a red light and you get fined how much? I think it's 5,000 dirhams. 5,000, which is That's equivalent about, to? It's about um, maybe $1,300. One, okay, about $1,300 in USD. That's a lot of money, so. Don't drive and you come to Dubai. <laughs> Parking tickets too. Parking, no. You can't Maybe. eat and drive? <laughs> no, man, it's a distracted driving. <laughs> so, Eating and driving? And they, they get you for seat belts too. It's, the cameras get you for seat belts. A seat belt is um, 500 dirhams. I got two seat belt fines in one trip one time. Oh my God. And let me tell you, I got a, I got a double fine for texting and driving. Let me show you what that one was. And uh, look, look what you're doing. Exactly. Look exactly what you're doing. Exactly. Just wait. So, I don't need to get no more tickets. My friend. <laughs> no tickets. The Texan, the Texan and driver was 800 dirhams. That's what. That's um, that's about 230 bucks. What? Total line. You gotta be careful. Hi guys, I see you get to my hotel. Once again, thank you, Rich, for giving me my tour. Good. Appreciate it. It is Monday. It is 2 11 right now, which is about, let me see. Yo, I really don't care. I have to see today. I'm not going out because your girl really didn't care about her hair no more. <laughs> so I'm going to do my hair over, basically. It don't matter. Thank God I know how to do hair. Because if I didn't know how to do hair, I would have been stressed. Probably if I knew how to, do, if I didn't know how to do hair, I would have protected it more. But I got all my supplies, like my glue and everything I need to put this lace back down. <sighs> all right, so yeah, today's gonna be a chill day. I'm not really gonna go outside. I may just take my computer by the pool side and do my vlog, like really start editing my entire vlog because my trip is coming to an end. And when it finally comes to an end, I just want to put the vlog out. <laughs> when you're really enjoying vacation. All right, guys. Um, I may take y'all. I'll see y'all later. It's the afternoon. I'm on my way to a nice restaurant. It's not a restaurant. It's a diner. And then I'm going to try to attempt the World Expo again. Right after I finish eating. So I'm going to go around like 7 o'clock. I think that's decent. I just want to see it. I know I'm going to get it through all the um, countries, but I just want to see it. So good. I love cookies and cream. Thank you. How is the milkshake? It's great. Mm -hmm. My milkshake brings all the boys to y'all. They're like, it's better than yours. They're right. You ever go somewhere you just want to bring the food? That's how it's going to I made it to the World Expo. We're going to see. We are going into Peru. Let's see what Peru got.
I went to Peru. Did you go to Peru? I went to Peru. All right, let me go to the, the places I really want to go now. Let's get stamped. Brother. I have a brother. Ah, we did not bring stuff, no? Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. I visited Kenya. <laughs> Like this is really amazing. That you can be able to see like all countries in like one spot. Like you know? Shit is crazy. And although you're not like seeing the full thing, like you're still getting a piece. Like you can still figure out like if I go here, what it's gonna be like, you know? I really, really do like that. Congo is really giving let me tell, like, look at these pictures. Like, like, come on. Uh, this shit is so dope. I'm happy I didn't give up and I came, you know? You stayed, you lived in there. Yeah, I'm from South Africa. You said? Okay, yeah. that's dope. So this is the, one of the sunsets. Also, that's we have cool. amazing sunsets. Yeah, that's amazing. The wine is good. The food is good. The beaches are lovely. The people are great. So this is Table Mountain. Uh -huh. So you can go hiking up that mountain. So that's Table Mountain there. You get this little small area. Okay. That's called Lion's Head. So when you go close to this place, you, it actually looks like a lion's head. finally came to a dead end i am so like i'm so sad <laughs> it's like damn well i had to come to an end but everything must come to an end right we're gonna have plenty more vacations um dubai was really a vibe i would definitely say this was better than coming in like last time i came was in july and it was like really really extremely hot so the weather out here now like in january we in february now like it's kind of like the end of january february early february it's better like 78 you know at nighttime you get a little breeze so definitely will recommend coming around this time had a really good time by myself i met some amazing people and it was definitely a vibe um let me just end this vlog here because I ain't doing shit but getting on a motherfucking plane and going to sleep, okay? Taking my ass right back to the States. <laughs> That's all I'm about to do is take my ass right back to the States, okay? But if you enjoy this travel vlog, 
solo in Dubai, Mocha the Explorer. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next travel vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye.